there's a slow motion short squeeze going on in gold right now on the COMEX. And that's why they have to keep creating, you know, and pasting onto the COMEX derivatives collage these goofy contracts. Hello there, my friends. Chris Mark is here with you for Arcade Economics. And a quick note before we start today's show, my book, The Big Silver Short, you can see the cover there. The audio version is finally out and available. We rushed the audio version to get something out to you since it seems to actually be playing out as we speak in the markets, but really digging into why the price got hammered. Are the markets being manipulated? Is there a big short position? All covered in here, full of interviews, Dave Kranzler, David Morgan, Andrew McGuire, Ted Butler, uh, and a whole handful of more. So I think you're going to enjoy it. Click on that link to get your own copy. And with that said, here is today's show. Hello there, my friends. Chris Marcus back with you for Arcade Economics. And just a quick update filmed our interview with Denver Dave Kranzler. And as we were talking after, he noticed something interesting on the COMEX. So Dave, just a quick note to pass along for folks and take it away. Well, you had brought up the point that you were, you know, people are wondering, your viewers are wondering, you get email questions wondering, when, when is there gonna be a, a short squeeze on the COMEX? You know, and presumably they're, they're referencing silver, but um, I mean, you can make the argument that there's a slow motion short squeeze going on in gold right now on the COMEX. And that's why they have to keep creating, you know, and pasting onto the COMEX derivatives collage, these goofy contracts like this, this latest one, the ACE contract. And if you watch, like today's a good example, obviously the move in gold was triggered by the Fed announcement that it's going to print another $2.3 trillion. And, and lend it out <laughs> to Main Street, <laughs> supposedly. Uh, but uh, um, really, if you look at the way the, the gold contract was trading, just use the front month, the June contract, I mean, it, it was rising. It, it went up in nearly step function at several points during the trading day to day when the COMEX floor was open. So you know and that's that's what a short squeeze looks like and you can see similar charts going on right now in the insanely overvalued bubble stocks that are the legacy of the last stock bubble and they they still have they still have you know a pulse and are still living and you know just go pull up something like Shop, shopify or or wayfair and you'll see a similar looking chart it's a short squeeze so you know when is gold going to start gapping up 100 or 200 bucks a day like a lot of us have been predicting for quite some time i don't know no one knows but it's, it's going to happen we're just what we're seeing is that process starting in slow motion right now yeah and dave just uh before we wrap up um to be clear i don't think dave is saying that we're going to have two thousand dollar gold tomorrow but just specifically when you're saying that you see a short squeeze developing which you touched on a little bit but again just uh in summary specifically what you're seeing and what that implies well you're seeing a, a very wide spread between the quoted spot price as calculated by kitco and as determined by the AM and PM LBM fix and the front month gold contract and the spread keeps getting wider and that and that tells us that people are, are looking it, it could be shorts who need to cover you know de delivery demands and they're they're piling into this contract hoping that 100 ounce bars will be magically delivered to them when the when the June contract <laughs> expires and they stand for delivery so in other words People, people know that if they put money up front for physical gold right now, they're not going to get it delivered. So you go into the futures market and hopefully lock in a price, today's price, ahead of time on the anticipation that the price is going to be even higher a month from now or when this con two months from now when this contract expires and, and you know hope that you can get delivery then. And we don't know if you're going to be able to get delivery then. We'll see. Time will tell. But certainly... The, the, the trading, you know, I, I watch a 15-minute chart. You can use a five-minute chart, whatever. 
that there's this week, there's been a couple periods of time when gold has just gone straight up relentlessly. And that has the earmarks of a short squeeze. Well, Dave, I appreciate that. I also appreciate you being clear on exactly what you're seeing. And uh, we'll look forward to catching up next week. And discuss right, just to summarize, I mean, it's like I said, it's, it's a short squeeze in slow motion right now. It's just kind of like before the virus crisis was the pin that pricked the, the bubble in the entire global financial system. You know, it, it, was, it was like watching a slow motion train wreck. And then the virus crisis pin hit the bubble and it, it, it turned into real time. Yep. <laughs> Eventually, we're going to see that in the gold market and the silver market. Well, folks, that's Dave Kranzler, Investment Research Dynamics. And if you didn't catch our other interview from today, just click on the box here.